Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary Star Helix. This weapon is awesome. To get it, you want to farm the black, red, or yellow power trooper over at the Atlas HQ. So yeah, let's head over and get the drop. Alright, so these guys are very spawn, that means they might not spawn every time, so if you don't see them, save quit and try again. And now you want to head to Promethea at the Atlas HQ, and we're going to be heading right over here on the map. Now normally you have to head all the way over here, loop around, and come all the way back. But there's actually a pretty cool shortcut right over here, so let me go ahead and show you that. Okay, so we made our way over here, and you can see on the map we're just right here in the corner. And we're actually going to jump right up here, so what you want to do is head to the grass area here, and you're going to mantle on this thing, and then mantle up. That easy. And that's going to save a lot of time for this farm. So, just a heads up, this will only drop from the yellow, black, and red one. So, a really cool way to farm is to get the mission from the Bounty Wall and Sanctuary, and uh, that's going to make them a guaranteed spawn. But once you kill them all off, it's going to complete the mission and then you have to farm them as a very spawn. So all you have to do is kill the three that you want to farm and then save quit. When you do that, you won't complete the mission and you can refarm it guaranteed every time. That's going to make this farm a whole lot easier. And no drop. Alright, I'll keep farming and get the drop. Oh. Yep, there it is. Alright, so let me clear out the enemies and we'll check it out. So we have the Star Helix. Damage, pretty good. This weapon will always be times three. Accuracy good, handling mid-tier, reload time great, fire rate average, and mag size 24. Red text is, the stars are better off without us. Bonus, weapon accuracy, and 2.9 and 4 times weapon zoom. This one is anointed, but we're not going to worry about that for the testing. I'll probably swap out to a different one. And I believe the gun can come in all the elements except for fire and corrosive. Alright, so the gun looks pretty good. Uh, it's all silver with a touch of green, and it does have that cubed pattern on the side of it. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so this gun, when you shoot it, the bullets are going to wave back and forth. Uh, it's a bit hard to see. Let me go photo mode. But yeah, you can see there from my skill, I made it fire. But um, yeah, the shots are going to kind of like wrap back and forth like a snake. And so to get the most out of the gun to get all three pellets to hit, it will be based on distance. Also, it does have two firing modes. We have fully auto and the one I got has semi-auto too. All right, so we're on Mayhem 4 and the modifiers are neutral. So let's go ahead and push forward. Go for the Nog. And if we're point blank, yeah, you can see this damage is pretty good. I can already say that this is not a bad gun. And now, when you have range like this, it's likely you're not going to hit all three pellets. So, a really good way to hit him every time is to be point blank. And this gun has, like, no recoil either, so you can hit fire it pretty accurately. And yeah, you can see when we're, like, point blank on the enemy, it just melts them. Alright, a lot of enemies here. Let's go ahead and hit fire. And the cool thing about this, too, is because of the spread, I can hit a lot of enemies at once. Okay, true test right here. Get right up in there, and yeah, he died. <laughs> wow. Alright, final thoughts on the Star Helix. It is really good. Not only is the damage good on it, but it's also ammo efficient too, consuming one ammo for three pellets. Now, my only issue with the gun is the bullet pattern. Uh, it shoots in the shape of a helix. So, there is going to be a lot of times where you're only hitting one pellet out of the three. But even for hitting one pellet, you're still doing work with this thing. The one way you can avoid that is to be point blank in the enemy's face, and that means you can hit all the pellets every time. But that's kind of a riskier playstyle. Overall, this weapon is pretty good, and I would recommend that you guys pick it up and try it for yourself. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.